Ms. Ryan, what incentive does a person who is intelligent, intellectually inferior, that is, he, in a free market, he cannot produce uh, that much, and therefore his income will be lower, what incentive does, does he have to follow your philosophy? Well, to begin with, I do not think of anyone as intellectually inferior, and it is not possible for a man to pronounce that judgment on himself if he's at all honest. What he can say is that some people seem to be more intelligent or have greater ability. That does not make him inferior. He has to use his ability in proportion and in scale to exactly the same degree as a man of greater ability has to use his mind. Therefore, nobody could say about himself, I'm inferior, why bother? Uh, the scale, the proportion of effort required of every man, regardless of the degree of his ability, is exactly the same. The same moral principles apply. If a man has less abilities than some great creative genius, but he's an honest man who uses his mind, he will appreciate the geniuses more than any other type of man, because he will then realize that if someone is able to do more than he is, that someone will contribute to his knowledge and, in fact, to his standard of living. If a man uh, cannot create a business for himself and his own unaided effort will not produce very much, he can appreciate the fact that if he works as an employee for a man of great ability, he is getting the advantage uh, created by that man's greater ability. In other words, the wages which he will get, for instance, if he works in a factory, depend on the productivity of his labor, but the productivity of his labor depends on his tools, on the machines. If his ability is not so great that he can invent a machine on his own, he can appreciate the difference that machine makes in his own productivity. He knows that by working with a modern machine, he can produce much more than he ever could by his own unaided effort in a primitive economy. Therefore, he has a great incentive to appreciate the man of creative ability who is not a competitor to him, but who makes his better and higher livelihood possible. Now, what incentive would he have to follow my philosophy? Well, the same incentive as any man if he wants to live. If he wants to exist, he knows that he has to work. If he has to work, he has to use his mind, he has to know what he's doing, he has to extend his knowledge, and use the best of such ability as he possesses. He has perhaps, if there are any degrees here, a greater interest in a free society than the abler man. The abler man could exist, if necessary, on a desert island. The man of lesser ability would perish. Uh, therefore, all the considerations, all the principles of my moral philosophy and my political philosophy apply equally to every man and any man. Ability, the degree of ability, has nothing to do with it.